Good morning. Welcome to Grandma Diane's story time. Uh, today is Tuesday and we're going to read a Ted Arnold book today and the book is called No Jumping on the Bed. Little, little technical glitch again, just a phone call coming in. We'll take it later. No Jumping on the Bed by Ted Arnold, written and illustrated by Ted Arnold. Remember a few days ago we read one called No More Water in the Tub? This is by the same author, Ted Arnold. And it looks like they live in an apartment building, doesn't it? And here we see, oh, oh, I bet somebody's jumping on the bed. This is for William and Walter. In his bedroom, near the top floor of a tall apartment building, Walter was getting ready for bed. Before turning out the light, his father said, If I've told you once, I've told you a million times, no jumping on the bed. Have you ever heard that before? I used to like to jump on the bed too when I was little. One day it'll crash right through the floor, down, now lie down and go to sleep. Just one more time, asked Walter, but instead he plopped down on his pillow and squeezed his eyes closed. And I told you once, I've told you a million times, no jumping on the bed. Okay. Good night, said his father. He turned off the light and pulled the door almost closed. The room was dark and quiet, except for a soft thump, thump, thump coming from the room above. That's Delbert upstairs, thought Walter. What do you think Delbert's doing upstairs? Sounds like he might be jumping on his bed. He switched on his bedside lamp. If Delbert can jump on his bed, so can I. Walter bounced higher and higher. On his last jump, his hair brushed the ceiling. But when he came back down, his mattress creaked, the floor cracked, and the whole bed tipped sideways. Then down through the floor fell Walter, bed and all. Oh my goodness. Sounds like problems to me. Now it happened that Walter's bedroom was directly above Miss Hattie's dining room. She was more than a little surprised when a bed fell through her ceiling and Walter landed in her plate of spaghetti and meatballs. If I was not expecting company for dinner, she mumbled with a mouth, mouth full of meatballs. Oh, I think Walter's in for quite a ride. Mmm, said Walter, spaghetti is my all-time favorite. But before he could eat, his bed smashed through the table and kept right on crashing down through the floor. Down and down fell Walter, Miss Hattie, the plate of spaghetti, the bed, and all. What a mess. Miss Hattie's dining room was above Mr. Maddie's TV room. Mr. Maddie didn't even notice a bed falling through his ceiling until a meatball bounced off his head. Miss Hattie tumbled into his lap and Walter splashed into his aquarium. I've already had my bath tonight, said Walter. He wanted to stay and watch the monsters on TV, but his bed crunched through the floor, taking the TV with it. Down and down fell Walter, Miss Hattie, Mr. Maddie, the TV, the spaghetti, the bed, and all. Walter's Aunt Batty had just moved into the building. She was still unpacking when Miss Hattie, Mr. Maddie, and a dripping wet Walter tumbled through the ceiling right into a box containing her rare 
Patagonian stamp collection. Oh my gosh. When he burst through the bottom of the box, Walter was a sticky mess. I see you started collecting stamps, said Aunt Batty, as she followed Walter through the new hole in, the, in her floor. Down and down fell Walter, Miss Hattie, Mr. Maddie, Aunt Batty, the stamp collection, the TV, the spaghetti, the bed, and all. And he was all wet too, wasn't he? So those stamps would stick to him. Fatty and Natty had worked three days building their dream house with blocks. Afraid that Fatty Cat might knock something over, they carefully shoot her out for the night. Then the upstairs neighbors came through the ceiling. Excuse me, said Walter, remembering his manners. We won't be staying long. The words were barely past his lips when Walter's bed bashed through the floor and continued on its way. So much for the dream house made of blocks, huh? Down and down fell Walter, Miss Hattie, Mr. Maddie, Aunt Batty, Patty, Natty, Fatty Cat, the stamps, the TV, the spaghetti, the bed, and all. The last thing Mr. Han Ratty ever expected to see was a bed coming through his studio ceiling, followed by nearly everyone in the building. Quite a ride. If I had known you wanted to see my paintings, he said, I would have tidied up a bit. But they never once paused to admire Mr. Hanratty's colorful artwork. They were too busy splashing in his cans of paint. Then his floor caved in and everyone followed Walter's bed down through the hole. Down and down fell Walter, Miss Hattie, Mr. Matty, Aunt Batty, Patty and Natty, Mr. Hanratty, Fatty Cat, 17 cans of paint, the stamps, the TV, the spaghetti, the bed, and all. Oh. That's a lot to read, let alone fall through the ceiling. Maestro Thirlingati and his string quartet were astonished by the colorful crowd that fell from the ceiling. Maestro loved an audience, even if they dropped in unannounced. But when Walter's bed smashed through the floor and paint spattered everywhere, the maestro wished his audience would leave. And so they did, along with his string quartet. Maestro Fernand Gatti's patience, practice room floor, I'm sorry, let me start again. Maestro Fernand Gatti's practice room floor was also the basement ceiling. It was dark and quiet as midnight down there. Walter squeezed his eyes closed and tumbled through the darkness until he landed on something soft. He opened his eyes. Everything was in its place. His bedroom lights were out. The door was almost closed and through it Walter could hear his mother and father talking quietly. No more jumping on the bed for me, mumbled Walter as he lay back down to sleep. So was he dreaming, do you think? Suddenly, he heard a creak. The ceiling cracked and down came Delbert, bed and all. Down and down fell Delbert. That's a fun story. Ted Arnold writes some, some really uh, kind of fun and crazy books for us to read. So that's the story of no jumping on the bed for today. Uh, tomorrow's Wednesday. Um, I have a good book right over there. It's called Inside a Barn in the Country. I think we'll read that one tomorrow. And Thursdays I haven't picked out yet. 
So that will be a surprise. And then Friday, we're going to read my story called Jeannie Ann's Grandma Has Breast Cancer. So that will round out the week for us. So I'm sure glad you stopped by. Uh, off to the side, if you want to type your name in so I know who's here, that would be great. Um, you can all, always stop by my website at www.dianedavies.com and find all of the stories that we've read so far. All you have to do is click on the cover of the book and, and you'll find um, the YouTube video of me reading the story. So I guess that's all for today. Have fun, get outside, enjoy uh, a little between the raindrops perhaps, but try and get outside and get some exercise. And thanks for stopping by, Ed. We'll see you tomorrow morning. Bye-bye.